So after the election just one week ago, the mainstream media, well, it's not looking too good for them, to say the least. Um, you know, as Elon put it, there are now individuals out there that can act as journalists, that can put out information, give people accurate information. Unlike the Mockingbird mainstream media who gets their talking points, gets their directions from those in the, we'll just say those in the government, and then they run with it. So got a few different articles here to touch on. First one is from CNN, or from thedailymail.com. CNN will ax top stars in layoffs. That'll see hundreds fired as ratings continue to tank. Ratings tanking at CNN? You don't say? CNN is reportedly set to nix some of its top talent in a round of post-election layoffs. The rumblings first reported by Puck News come as high-paid personalities like Jake Tapper and Wolf Blitzer were reportedly recently denied raises. Those two already boast salaries of $7 million and $3 million, while stars like Anderson Cooper take home an annual $20 million. $20 million. Wow. And he does what? A couple of shows a week? Caitlin Collin, Collins, remember her from the, uh, from the debate, I think it was back in June. Also, she's done a couple of town halls with Donald Trump that didn't go too well for her. And Aaron Burnett also command huge earnings, $3 million and $6 million respectively. Insiders told Puck News the round of firings will likely see on-air talent like them affected as the network's new CEO looks to free up finances amid war waning ratings. So that's what's going on over at CNN. Let's check out MSNBC. This is from the Gateway Pundit. Fake News Inferno, MSNBC viewership craters after Trump victory. Trump, Trump victory. Morning Joe down 40%, Joy Reid down 55%, Comcast looking to spin off channel for potential sale. This is absolutely brutal. MSNBC ratings have completely collapsed since President Trump's historic victory in the 2024 elections. <laughs> See, this isn't just people rejecting uh, woke ideology. This is people project rejecting uh, those in the media who just basically push one side of a narrative. I mean, look at these ratings. This is from uh, 1030 to 118. So this is from just before to just after the election. Morning Joe, first hour, down 39.6%. Second hour, Morning Joe, down 36.9%. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, down 39.7%. Ari Melber. Down 49.6%. Joy Reid's readout down 54.6%. Chris Hayes, all in with Chris Hayes, down 47.2%. Alex Wagner tonight, down 53.6%. Lawrence O'Donnell, down 60.6%. Stephanie Rule, down 67%. Ouch. Tell you what, MSNBC, how about providing a little bit of balance to your newscasts and maybe your ratings won't tank? Just saying. It's so bad that Comcast is looking to spin off MSNBC and its, and its cables for a potential sale. Uh, this is from Red State. MSNBC gets bad news on ratings and Comcast move. That's a joy to read. I <laughs> love that pun in the headline. Here's some more evidence that the mainstream media is failing. Uh, MSNBC's remarkable 31% drop comes as Fox News Channel's viewership grew by 61% over the same time period. This is uh, during the month of October. So, yeah. MSNBC also sheds 26% of its year-to-date totals. 
let things get even worse in prime time. See, prime time for every network isn't really a news time. It's more of an opinion time. Which is the hours from 8 to 11 on East and the East Coast, 7 to 10 Central. So during prime time, MSNBC averaged 1.8 million total viewers in October, but viewership of Alex Wagner tonight, all in with Chris Hayes, and the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell, have averaged only 808,000 total viewers since election night. It's because nobody's not buying their crap anymore. People have said, you know what, enough. I'll go find my news from other sources. Enough with these talking heads. Now, I could say the same thing for Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram. I won't say that about Jesse Waters, who took over Tucker's time slot at Fox. Um, you know, I don't watch Jesse's show a lot, but the clips I've seen, I like, I like what he's doing. Um, you know, Gutfeld has become the king of late night. If you haven't checked out Gutfeld's show, check it out. It is so, so, so good. Greg Gutfeld is truly one of the funnier people in, in, um, yeah, I'll say it. It's really one of the funnier people in America. The 54% drop represents more than half of the network's primetime viewers, and MSNBC is also down 51% from its year-to-date totals, while Fox is up 58% in primetime compared to 2024 averages. MSNBC is also down 16% among total day viewers and 57% during primetime among critical demographic of adults aged 25 to 54, which is the most coveted by advertisers. So here's just a couple of examples of what you would hear over on MSNBC. Uh, listen to what Jen Psaki says here about how the focus on the Never Trumpers was wrong. Just one of the many, many things that they were wrong about. This is a uh, little tweet from Clay Travis. Jen Psaki says, no one cares about Never Trump Republicans and MSNBC gives them way too much attention. Ha, only took nine years for Dems to realize this. Um, here's another little thing from Stephen Miller. As I talked about earlier this week, the green room conservatives usefulness is gone now, except expect these networks to phase them out completely. If not outright drop them. So here's a tweet from Joe Concha. MSNBC won't be under the Comcast umbrella within six months and almost any talent there with a lucrative contract ain't getting renewed or let go altogether. So yeah, this is, this is the election of 2024 Trump getting reelected is, is, is basically going to be the, the catalyst for a, a, a shifting or a reshaping of the mainstream media. Because all they've done for 10 years is the same thing over and over and over again. He's an ist. He's a phobe. He's another ist. He's a, he's a national socialist. He's a fascist. He's this, he's that. And guess what? People ain't buying it anymore. And it shows. In the numbers. I think it's over on Valuetainment. Uh, Patrick Beck David's channel where uh, one of the guys over there says, you know what? Numbers don't lie. So there you go. Um, tell me what you guys think. Do you think the mainstream media is on the pre precipice of a collapse? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that... I will see you guys.